letting go. One of the most powerful skills you can acquire in life is the skill to let people and things go. It's not the easiest skill to acquire and it's funny that I even refer to it as a skill but it is because you have to learn to do it. It's not natural. It doesn't come easy. It's not the natural thing to do so it's something you have to learn how to do but all successful and powerful people have this skill. They have the ability to know when circumstances, things, or people no longer serve the path that they're on. And if we want to move forward in life, we must acquire this skill. You've got to look at your life like a tree. A tree goes through seasons, right? There are seasons when that tree is full of leaves and full of fruits. It's a beautiful tree and it's awesome. Everyone loves the season when a tree, especially a tree that bears fruits, is in bloom, is in season. But there are other seasons when the tree has to clean itself off. Clean off all the things that don't serve it anymore. So all the leaves fall off, all the fruit are gone, certain branches and twigs fall off, and that tree needs to go through that season of letting go. The things that remain are the roots, the tree trunk, and certain strong branches. Everything else has to go. Too many of us are like that tree trying to tape on leaves or hold on to pieces of that tree that no longer serve it. We're busy taping on leaves and trying to keep the branches on so they don't fall off. But it's gone. And so many of the friends and people in our lives are from the previous season and their time has been served. When you look ahead of what you can be, when you prune the tree, then you will start to be okay with letting things and people go, letting the season go. When you can look forward to the spring, when your tree will have brand new leaves and brand new fruit and will shine better than ever, especially if a tree is pruned, then you can begin to let go. You see, a real healthy tree is pruned. Right? It's not wasting energy on branches that no longer serve it. It's pruned so that energy goes to what should be there. So for many of you, this is the fall season of your life. It's the fall. Right? You've got to prune that tree of relationships, of people that no longer serve you. And put your attention in the roots of the people that are really... Uh, in it to win it with you that will be there by your side through this stretch of your journey a reason a season or a lifetime remember that not everything is supposed to be there forever don't look at it with resentment because it's no longer serving you appreciate while it was there and begin to let it go now as former Jehovah's Witnesses we were taught a lot of things that alter the way we look at things, right? They talked about forever a lot, as if, um, you know, again, we were supposed to live forever, have these people around us forever, and our minds kind of believe that. But nothing on this planet is forever, at least in this journey that we know, nothing's forever. Everything is temporary. Everything, life is temporary. We're not here forever. Everyone we know will be of the past at some point, or we will be. That's just the way it is. So we, we've got to, to move in a way that allows us the brighter future, a brighter future for tomorrow. And that's by having the things and the people around us that serve us. It was very hard for me to come to this uh, realization. You know, whatever you're going through, I've probably been through myself. And I only began to thrive in life when I was able to let go. The powerful, 
the strong, the successful, these people know how to let go. And we've got to be really skilled at this. And you do this by continually, continually looking forward and not looking back. You have to look forward in your life. And some of the things that you let go, if they're meant to be, they will return because they will see you thriving. In the spring season of your life, it's like, wow, look at what that person's become. And certain people will return because they're watching you. Looking backward will never, ever serve you. You'll get stuck in the fall season of your life. You'll get stuck being that tree that is barren with no leaves, just twigs and branches. You'll get stuck being there and that tree will slowly begin to die. So I am asking you to find your dream, find your purpose, look forward knowing that that spring season is coming once more, that everything in life is supposed to be seasons, a reason. People come into your life for a reason. There's a reason why you're on this journey. There's a reason why you have the past you have. There's a reason why certain people in your life, they serve their purpose, the reason is done. There's a season. There's people that are in your life for a season of your life, okay? Because they had something to add. And regardless of how bad we feel about our past experience, it was a season of our life and it served its purpose. And then there's the lifetime friendships and relationships and, and the lifetime things that stick there, except all of them, all of it. It's all there for a reason. And when you learn to let go and embrace the new, you will begin to thrive in life. So that's my message for today. I think that all of you will thrive begin to look ahead, follow your dreams, follow your passions, know the things that were put inside of you for a reason. Listen to that voice, that instinct, that calling that's inside of you. Follow it. It's there for a reason. Take care. Be blessed. We'll talk soon.